hours, Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Ali Ahmad. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says Karachi is economic hub of the country and all out efforts will be made for its development. European Union has extended GSP Plus status to Pakistan till 2022. Speaker National Assembly says Torkham border crossing will be used as a trade corridor to boost business activities with Afghanistan and Central Asia. Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting says government is committed to promote soft image of the country at international level. Pakistan has rejected the Indian claims regarding possible military dimension of the items seized from its commercial vessel. A Kashmiri representative addressing Human Rights Council in Geneva emphasized that India's unilateral decision to revoke Kashmir's special status is against United Nations resolutions and international law. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says Karachi is economic hub of the country and all-out efforts will be made for its development. This broadcast message in the ceremony on the inauguration of development projects at Governor House in Karachi today, he said the progress of Pakistan hinges on the progress of Sindh Metropolis. The Prime Minister said Karachi determines the course of development of the country. When Karachi goes up, whole Pakistan goes up, and when Karachi goes down, whole of the Pakistan goes down. Earlier, the Governor Sindh Imran Ismail inaugurated three recently constructed bridges by the federal government on behalf of the Prime Minister Imran Khan. The Governor on this occasion said Prime Minister has announced projects of 162 billion rupees which would change the face of the city. European Union has extended the GSP Plus status to Pakistan till 2022. In a statement on Twitter, advisor to Prime Minister on Commerce, Industry and Investment, Abdul Razak Daud said, after this extension, Pakistan would continue to avail tariff preferences in European Union under the GSP+. He said this w- would strengthen the Pakistan's resolve to continue to improve the social and economic conditions of its people. He urged business community to diversify their exports to capitalize on this opportunity to the optimum. Speaker National Assembly Asad Qaisar says Park Afghan border at Torkham will be used as a trade corridor to boost business activities with Afghanistan and Central Asian republics. Speaking at a function in Mardan today, he said it is the, the hard time is almost over and now a new era of development and prosperity will begin to provide relief to the public. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan, has said the government is committed to promote soft image of the country at international level. Addressing the news conference in Lahore today, she said the real face of the country cannot be projected across the globe without the revival of film industry. Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan said the Prime Minister Imran Khan is determined to empower women in all the fields for the socio-economic development of the country. Ministry of Law and Justice has termed the Enforcement of Women's Property Rights Act 2020 as a significant step towards empowering women. In a statement, the ministry said empowering a woman is a major step towards enlightenment of a society. It said under Article 23 of the Constitution of Pakistan, It is citizens' right to acquire, hold and dispose of property in any part of Pakistan. Radio Pakistan's FM 101 channel will broadcast an exclusive interview of President Dr. Arif Alvi and First Lady Samina Alvi at 10pm tonight. They will highlight government's initiatives to empower women, promote girls' education, creating awareness about breast cancer and imparting education to children with disabilities. This is Radio Pakistan.
Pakistan has rejected the Indian claims regarding possible military dimension of the items seized from its commercial vessel by the Indian authorities. The Foreign Office spokesperson in a statement said the item under question is a heat treatment furnace casing system which has several industrial applications. The statement said the item is not listed in any international export control list. Minister for Religious Affairs Nurul Haqqadri telephoned Saudi Minister of Hajj and Umrah Dr. Mohammad Saleh today and discussed security arrangements for the pilgrims. The Saudi minister said a comprehensive policy has been chalked out to tackle the outbreak of coronavirus. Pakistan Navy ship Yarmouk visited Golkuk, Turkey as part of goodwill visit to enhance naval collaboration and develop interoperability with Turkish Navy. During the visit, Commanding Officer PNS Yamu called on authorities of Turkish Navy and highlighted atrocities of Indian Armed Forces in occupied Kashmir. The Special Representative of OIC Secretary General for Jammu and Kashmir, Yusuf M. al Dubi, during his recently concluded visit of Pakistan and Azad Kashmir, has reaffirmed full support to people of occupied Kashmir in the aftermath of India's unilateral action of revoking special status. A statement issued by the Foreign Office today said the Special Envoy emphasized that the Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute which calls for its peaceful settlement in accordance with the relevant UN and OIC resolutions. During the visit, the Special Envoy and his high-level delegation called on Prime Minister Imran Khan and held meetings with the Foreign Minister and Minister for Kashmir Affairs. Addressing the 43rd session of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, Kashmiri representative Sayyid Fez Naqshbandi has called for the resolution of the Kashmir dispute in accordance with the relevant UN resolutions. He said the UN resolutions were endorsed by the first Indian Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, and the Indian representatives at the UN Security Council from time to time. Fez Naqshbandi said the Indian government's unilateral and unlawful decision to revoke Kashmir's special status is against the UN resolutions and the international law. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops have intensified coordinated search operations across the territory to suppress the Kashmiri's freedom movement and to stop them from raising voice against the recent anti-Kashmir moves of the Modi government. Finance ministers of Group 20 have expressed a willingness to support countries for measures to contain the outbreak of coronavirus. In a joint statement after a meeting in Saudi capital Riyadh, the group said they are closely monitoring the evolution of COVID-19, including its impact on markets and economic conditions. World Health Organization has called the spread of coronavirus deeply concerning as a wave of countries reported their first cases of the disease. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus has urged that all countries make containment their highest priority. The number of cases from coronavirus topped 100,000 worldwide, while more than 3,500 people killed across 94 nations and territories. The United Nations has called for an immediate end to the military action by warring parties in Yemen. UN Special Envoy Martin Griffiths, while speaking at a news conference in Marib, Yemen today, reiterated his call for unconditional freeze. In 21st match of Pakistan Super League in Lahore, Quetta Gladiators has set a victory target of 99 for Lahore Kalandas. Chasing the target, Lahore Kalandas were 3 for no loss in one over a short while ago. Batting first, Quetta Gladiators scored 98 runs for the loss of 9 wickets in stipulated 20 overs. Earlier, Peshawar Zalmi beat Islamabad United by 7 runs through Duke Worth Levi's uh, method at Ravalpindi today. Batting first, Islamabad United had scored 195 for 5 in stipulated 20 overs. In reply, Peshawar Zalmi won the rain hit match with 85 runs for loss of 2 wickets in 9 overs. And finally, the weather. 
More intermittent rain when thunderstorms do fall over the hills is expected in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Islamabad, Upper Punjab, Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan during the next 24 hours. Dry weather is expected in other parts of the country. To end the news once again the headlines. Prime Minister says Karachi is economic hub of the country and all out efforts will be made for its development. European Union has extended GSP Plus status to Pakistan till 2022. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and for the live video streaming of our bulletins, visit the link facebook.com/radiopakistan-news official.